Hello, hello, hello. My name is Noemi. Thank you so much for watching my video. In today's video, we are going to talk about using Jira automation to clone task and subtask. So shout out to my friend Mira. This is her use case. And here is how it went. Mira had many issues that her project teams need to complete for every project that they do. These issues are grouped in JIRA using task and subtask underneath them. There are multiple groupings of these task subtask combinations and they get created throughout the life cycle of the project which means that they might not necessarily be housed together in a single project or a single epic. In fact, they usually get completed over a series of sprints throughout the year. So because of the inconsistency in terms of when they need to be created, we could not create an automation that generates all of the tasks and all of the subtasks ahead of time because it just didn't make sense. So the next option was letting people clone the items ad hoc so that when they're ready, they can go and they can clone an existing set of tasks and subtasks and go on their merry way. So the first option for doing this was using the clone feature in Jira. And let me show you what that looks like. So in this example here, I have a task and when I expand it, you can see that this has subtask. If I open it up, I have the option to see what's inside and to clone this task. So as you can see, I have a description, an attachment, some child issues, and I've actually even linked it to another issue in my project. So there is a clone feature in JIRA. So when I hit the actions menu in the corner and select clone, I actually have the ability to clone this item and here are the options. I can rename it to whatever I want. I can also choose to clone the attachments like the screenshot. I can clone the child issues and I can clone the links. So in this example, we wanted to clone the child issues. And so we click clone and then you can see that it's cloning in the lower corner. And when I hit the X, now you can see down here in my list view, I have the clone and I've got the subtask and this is perfect. However, when we came and did this solution together, what we found is that the clone feature was not working. In fact, it just was not cloning our subtask and it wasn't behaving the way we wanted it to. So we created an automation so that somebody could manually trigger this. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to first go ahead and delete what I just created. And then I'm going to show you what we came up with. So I'm going to open up the same issue. And instead of going here into the actions menu, I'm going to go here and click on actions. Now in this section, you'll find the automation that we created and it's called clone issue and subtask. So when I click on this, it will do similar to what we just did previously. It's going to clone this issue and it's going to clone the subtask. In our automation, we are not cloning attachments and we are not cloning linked issues, which were a feature of the JIRA option. So now right here in the lower corner, you can see that my cloning is complete and I'm going to close this out and I'll close this out too. And in my list view, you can see that the clone has successfully created. Now I've got my primary task and my clone subtask. As you can see, they all have the name clone after them, just like in our previous example. But in this case, the automation is what added the name to it. So I want to show you what this looks like to implement just in case you have to do something similar in the future. So what I have here is my automation and to get to automation, it's very easy. You open up the project. So this is exactly where I was just at. You go to project settings and then you click on automation. Once you're in here, you'll see all of your existing automation rules and you'll have this create rule button to be able to create your own. So let's go over what we did. So the clone issue and subtask is what we used. I'm going to go ahead and open it and let's walk through what this looks like. So what we have here at the top, every automation needs a trigger. And in this case, this was a manual trigger. 
What does that look like? Well, we remember manual trigger means that if they go into the actions menu, they can manually choose to run this automation. That's what the manual trigger is. So we used a manual trigger and then we said, let's clone the issue. So remember, we were at the parent issue. We are going to, in the same project and the same issue type, we're going to clone it to be the same exact thing. And the name of the cloned issue is going to start with the word clone and it's going to copy the name of the item that we're cloning. So what does that mean? It means that it's going to clone the task issue and it's going to make it the same issue type and it's going to keep it in the same project. It's going to keep the name my primary task and in front of that name it's going to add the word clone. So that is what these rules say. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the edit issue option and we are actually going to do something very important, which is creating the parent link information. So this is very critical because if you don't do this step, what will happen is when we go to the steps after this, it will actually recreate the subtask under the original item that we're trying to clone instead of the new item we just created. So this right here in this additional field section basically says create the value for parent link, make it be the issue key of the item we just created in the step before that. If not, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to default to the original item that we created the, um, that we triggered the automation from. After that, we are going to create subtask. And so we are going to create a branch that is for subtask. And as you can see here, I'm using the subtask related issues branch. And then once we branch out, we are going to say clone the subtask within the parent issue that we just cloned. And so again, very much like the rule above, we said create them in the same project as the same issue type, add the word clone, and then copy the name of the issue. And then in the parent field, we are going to put in the key of the first cloned issue, AKA the newly created copy. So what does that all mean? Basically, the rule goes in, we trigger it from the parent. So this very top level issue here, it's going to create another copy of it. So right here, it's created KAN25. It's created a copy of it. Once it creates that copy, I now have this new key, KAN-25. Once I have that key, it is captured here in this advanced settings right here. Now that it has this key, it's going to go ahead and it's going to come down and it's going to start cloning these subtasks. Once it clones those subtasks right here for all the subtasks, it's going to come in and it's going to start cloning them. Once it starts cloning them, it's going to then populate the field in subtask for the parent and it's going to put in the issue key of KAN25. So like I mentioned earlier, if you don't have that set, what it will do is it will clone these subtasks and it's gonna put them right here under the original item instead of the new parent. And that's how the rules work. So let me show you how to do this step by step. And to do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead, copy this, and I'm going to open it up in a new, a new section. I could have navigated to it. I just chose not to. <laughs> um, so now that I'm in the automation section, I'm just going to click the side so I can get to my main menu, and I'm going to start by creating a new rule. So I'm going to create this new rule, and I'm just going to see if I can't split these screens out so that I can see them. Okay, and move these to the side. I like to just look at what I'm doing so it makes it a little bit easier. So what's the first thing that we are going to do? Like we mentioned earlier, 
the first part of this is creating a manual trigger. So right here in my trigger, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to either type manual and select it, or I could have scrolled down that list and found the triggers myself. So now that I've created a manual trigger, I don't care um, what issue types or anything like that. We're keeping this really simple. We can run this from anywhere. So I'm going to leave it that any group can use this. It doesn't really matter what issue type. They can use it whenever they want. Next, I'm going to go and add the clone issue. So I'm going to click the add component and then I'm going to select clone issue as my action. So I'm going to come up here and click add action. And I'm going to type clone, select clone issue. And now I'm going to say I want you to clone the issue into the same project as the same issue type. And then I'm going to clone the summary of this. And here if we go back to our original rules. This looks right. I'm going to just go ahead and expand it because sometimes I forget if I've done anything special in my more features. I have not, but I will expand it just so you guys can see. Um, all of this stuff is default. Basically, this is a section that creates that cloned link back to the original. So with this set, I'm going to go to the next item, which is editing the issue. So now I'm going to click Add Component again, Add Action, type Edit, click Edit Issue. Then from here, I'm just going to go back to my issue so I get my rules correct. I didn't choose to edit a field specifically. Instead, I used an advanced option. So I'm going to click on the more options and this information right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. Come back, click on more issues. And here's the part I'm going to just click into here. I can hit control A and delete that. Paste in this rule. Once this rule is created, I'm going to uncheck that it sends email because we don't want to spam everybody. We just want them to do the thing and save our notifications for things that are more important. They already know they're cloning. They don't need another email to tell them that they just cloned. So we'll leave this unchecked and then we're going to move on to the next rule, which is our branch. So now I can go ahead and click the add component again. And here I'm going to select for each add a branch. Now, out of these two options, I'm going to choose branch rule related issues. And in this drop down, I'm going to choose the relationship that I want. And here is going to be subtask. So this is where it's saying look for subtask. From here, I'll just go back. There's nothing special um, that we set in here. The only thing that I do have unchecked is to include issues that have changed since the last time the rule has run. We don't really care about that. We want it to run regardless, so we will leave this unchecked. Next, we are going to add underneath this subtask branch. We're going to add to the branch. And here we're going to choose an action. And then we are going to do clone again. Once we select clone, come back here. Let's look at our rule. We're going to do the same thing, same project same issue type. We're going to leave the summary as clone dash the copy of the summary name. And then here, as you can see where I have parent, I'm going to click the choose fields to set and I'm going to type in parent. Once that pops up, I'll check it. Close the window by just clicking away. And in here, I'm going to put in the value that I originally created up here. So this parent link. So let's go ahead and come back. And I have to type it in because I don't have it saved anywhere else. So I'm just going to do my curly brackets and I'm going to type created issue dot key dot key and click away. And if that didn't work, just type it again. Uh, created issue dot key hit enter and now it will stick and then from here we can go ahead and turn the rule on because we don't have any more rules to create so I can click on rule details type in my name clone 
parent and subtask. Again, you'll usually want to create a description in here that explains what this is and why you did it so that if you have to come back later and fix anything or if somebody has to come after you, they understand what this rule is about. For this demo, we are not going to add a description. Uh, we're just going to turn the rule on. And now when we turn the rule on, what we're going to do is we're going to see that we actually have two rules with the same name. So just to eliminate some confusion, I'm going to go ahead and put new after this and click update so that we can see what they look like and come back to projects go back to my project and now let's go back to my list view where it's easy to see I'm going to click on this item one of the cloned items and now when I click on actions you'll see my new one and my original so from here, I could go ahead and click it, and it will run the rule just like the original one did. And with that, that is the lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you have things that you want to figure out or you need help with, please send them my way. I would love to work on it and help you guys solve all your problems. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.